After 900 years of hardship and bumpy roads, humanity managed to reach technological achievements and breathless expansion. The original intent was to model humanity's future society similar to the Roman Empire. The United Empire of Earth UEE, is a democratic empire with an elective and term-limited emperor. Counseled by the High Secretary and High Advocate, the Emperor is the figurehead of the government, bound to a single 10-year term limit. The advocacy took on a dark role as the Emperor's secret police, intelligence, and spying agency. Technically the Emperor is the High General. The military is broken up into three divisions, Navy, Army, and Marines. The High Secretary branch, also called, the Senate, deals with the infrastructure. They are the wing that houses all the departments, committees, etc. Concerning Diplomatic Relations Apart from occasional border dispute with the Banu, the United Empire of Earth mainly keeps good and friendly relations with the Banu Protectorate. Jean Empire and the UEE were formerly hostile but friendlier now. Humanity's first interstellar enemy were the Tefarin. While not as technologically advanced, a proud, martial society, the Tefarin were beginning to strike out into the universe. Humanity's entire relationship with the Vanduul has been covered in blood. They have never attempted to contact the UEE in any capacity. Most politicians just regard the entire Vanduul species as a violent act of nature. The existence of Kurthak was only discovered recently. Humans know very little about them. Thanks for watching Space Briefcase. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.